Previously on the Book of Mormon Scripture Challenge, we looked at 2 Nephi 25, which is written by Nephi, explaining the importance of understanding our Savior Jesus Christ and His saving power. Now, we often only use parts of this chapter, and we ignore the rest of it in its whole, and, it, and with all of its important parts. But each part is important. To help illustrate this, I have turned the entire chapter into a parable. This parable will be about Nephi and his son, who we'll call Junior. So, beginning at the very beginning of the chapter, we'll work our way through it. In the beginning, Nephi taught his son the importance of a parachute. He didn't, however, teach about some of the traditions that men of their time had. Uh, that they believed to be important in their salvation. He didn't teach them about curly-toed shoes or frilled shirts or bowler hats. He never told his son about these clothing items because they provided no salvation to his son and he saw them as pointless. And so he never taught these things. What he did teach though was of the saving power of a parachute which would hold him up from his perilous demise as he fell to his doom. He explained how the parachute came to be and how those who saw the parachute's outcomings ridiculed it and made fun of it. And he warned his son that his son also would be ridiculed for wearing a parachute. Now, when Junior was going on to his very first airplane ride, he noticed all these interesting outfits. He saw the bowler hats, he saw the frilled shirts, and he saw the curly-toed shoes, and he thought, gee, that's strange. And he noticed how the people were. He saw the way that they were excited. He saw how they enjoyed themselves and how they seemed so happy. He thought, surely they're going to be just fine too. And he began to think about the things he'd been taught. And he began to doubt his parachute. And he cast it aside, saying, Surely this parachute cannot save me. And I'm a fool for not bringing a hat or a frilled shirt or some curly-toed shoes like everyone else on this plane. He was disappointed in himself for not having thought of those things. But then he looked at a note that his father had written. And he read it and he reviewed the importance of the parachute and he noticed something that he had never thought of before. His father wrote in his note warning that as the plane reached its full altitude, it would dump everyone from the plane and all the passengers would fall out and he would be on his own. And that is when he realized the saving power of the parachute. Because of the condemnation of being able to fall to his death, he realized he needed the parachute. And he began to teach and preach and beg with the others because he saw the importance of the parachute. He recognized that it was by the parachute that he would be saved. He also wanted them to be saved as well and taught them with the hope that they would put on a parachute. Yet, Soon it came that all were dumped from the plane. Now whether they spread themselves out like the instructor had told them to, or stood up confiding that their curly-toed shoes will add an extra bounce in their step when they hit the ground to save them, or holding onto their hat so they will save them, or confiding that the frills will slow their fall so that they won't be destroyed, all in the end would perish except those who confided and believed in the parachute it was by the grace of that parachute that they were saved after anything that they could do themselves